celebrating and protecting our Alaska environment. It's an important part of being Alaskan. That's why ConocoPhillips is committed to funding programs that enhance long-term conservation and provide access to key fish and wildlife habitats across Alaska. In the last two years alone, ConocoPhillips has invested $4 million in projects that focus on the environment, helping restore salmon runs, building bridges to protect and stabilize stream banks, renovating nature trails, enhancing habitat for migratory birds and fish. As Alaskans, we have the unique responsibility to preserve the environment, a responsibility we take very seriously, and we're helping to provide access to some of the most spectacular places in the world. It is all part of ConocoPhillips' ongoing conservation efforts throughout Alaska. ConocoPhillips, Alaska's oil and gas company. For a videotaped copy of any news story you've seen, call 458-1830. Welcome back, everyone. In our continuing series, Introducing Municipal Election Candidates, we take a look tonight at Borough Assembly Seat I. The candidates are Guy Satley, Val Valerie Therian, and Dave Miles. Each was asked why we should vote for them. Well, as a citizen of the borough, what I want is good representation from all nine members of the Assembly. And uh, I decided to run again this year because I don't feel that I'm getting quite that perfect representation from all members of the assembly. Um, I, when I've been on the assembly before, I, I feel that I've uh, been pretty frugal with the, uh, the public funds, and I want to continue that for another three years. And I would hope to, uh, one specific thing I would hope to do is to uh, get the IM program eliminated within the next, uh, hopefully the next six months, possibly the next year. Uh, our air has been in total compliance uh, for the last couple of years, and it's time to eliminate that hassle for the uh, public and that expense for the public. Well, I've really enjoyed the last two years, and I've worked really hard passing the ethics ordinance. We rewrote the entire ordinance. I also worked very hard on the big box store ordinance. And as deputy presiding officer, I've realized that economic development is one of our most important issues facing us. And I think we need experienced leaders as we look towards the gas line coming into our community. And how do we balance the growth that we're having in our community with what people want in our community, which is not a lot of parking lots. And we don't want to be just any city USA, but we want to have our community still reflect Fairbanks values. Well, my name is Day Miles, spelled D-A-E, and I'm running to improve our community, make it better for everybody. I published this survey of five questions to all the candidates. If they are against the sales tax, if they are for public tra transportation, and I'm so happy we finally got evening bus service. And the three ways to reduce taxes off of homeowners. The homeowner exemption increase from 20 to 100 grand off your home before it's taxed. The state funded land grant schools, which would lower local property taxes. And split the property tax off of buildings to free up investment and to end idle land speculation. My two opponents have been in office for many years, so if you like the way things are going, vote for them. Otherwise, vote for Day Miles. For most people, going to the doctor isn't as painful as the bills that follow. 